Water testing in Milledgeville is complete and the water has been deemed safe. This message came after Milledgeville residents spent three days without clean water from Saturday until Tuesday evening. A main water pipe burst on Saturday causing many in the downtown area to have no running water at all Sunday. The rare 14-inch pipe installed in the 1950s sustained damage in a creek near Oak Hill Middle School. Officials believe the recent heavy rains caused an old oak tree's roots to shift and break the pipe. Within 14 hours, a new pipe was located in neighboring Macon Bibb County. Crews had the new pipe installed before sundown on Sunday. Usually in a situation like this, we end up with a lot of air in mm -hmm. the water lines and we have to <clears throat> expel the air. Local restaurants and schools closed Monday and Tuesday even after the city's water pressure returned. Well, the restaurants will have to go through inspections with the Department of Public Health. Um, the DPH has uh, sent out an email. They're also taking uh, by hand delivery a list of procedures that each of these businesses will need to undertake in order to, uh, to, to clear and flush their lines and make sure that all of their equipment is safe and sanitized. The MAX operated on weekend hours to continue to feed students in the residence halls. Well, you know, with the MAX, I mean, I think we were fortunate that we were one of the few um, that could actually operate and that we were authorized to operate. Many of the um, mm -hmm. restaurants uh, in the city were, were not able to operate. They did not have the necessary provisions and so forth to keep uh, a normal operating schedule. But one of the biggest questions from the crisis is why Georgia College decided to close for Monday and Tuesday, even after the pipes were fixed. It was really more of a a challenge to get 5,000 plus people back on campus um, and to be able to provide uh, bottles of water for all of them. Tuesday at 9.05 p.m., the Boyle Water Advisory was canceled, ensuring citizens that the water was safe for consumption. Schools and many businesses reopened Wednesday. Reporting for GC360, I'm Angela Morian.